Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place. Tarot, how is everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be goals. Goals, have you reached them? What do you need to do to accomplish them? Are you on track? Are you off track? What's going on? This is a quick energy check-in to see, you know, it's end of the year, of course. Readings are timeless, it's whenever you click on them. But where are you at for your goals, okay? Um, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Shout out to Patreon. Patreon gets these videos ad-free and first. And let's get started, okay? So pile one is going to be the candy cane. Pile two is going to be the ornament, the tree ornament. And pile three is going to be the Santa Claus keychain, okay? So like, share, subscribe to my channel. If you fuck with me, add me on TikTok and Instagram. Okay, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas. Only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. No malefic, no trickster spirits, and no demons. I send back all hexes, binding spells, curses, ifa, obia, hoodoo, voodoo, and santeria times 10. Break up magic. Anybody doing any magic against me, it all goes back. Return to sender. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so pile one, quick energy check. Where are you at? What are your goals? Um, let's do an energy check on you. Let's see where you're at, okay? Um, hmm. <laughs> Archangel Michael, give me three, please. Quick energy check. Where is pile one at in their life right now? Give me three. Top of the deck, middle of the deck, back of the deck. Okay. We have five of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Ooh, we have the hanged man, Pisces energy. Whenever the hanged man comes out to me, it's very specific. Somebody here definitely has a lot of Pisces in their chart. Bottom of the deck, the wheel of fortune. Okay. All right. Could be a fixed sign. Could be a Taurus. An Aquarius, a Leo, or a Scorpio. Ooh, very fixed. Very frigid, I'm also hearing. It's cold right now in North America, okay? So somebody somebody feels like you left them out of the cold or you, you got left out in the cold, pile one. Um, I'm feeling this is about your stability. I'm feeling like some of y'all may have just moved or you know you need to move. The hangman is always about a change in perspective. Let me look at something from their point of view. Hold on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah pile one um the wheel of fortune is here which means that a karmic cycle has ended anytime the wheel of fortune comes up upright that means a karmic cycle has ended you have completed your karma with somebody is also what i'm hearing this could be a relationship but it doesn't have to be pile one um yeah, some of y'all definitely finished a relationship with somebody. Um, the hanged man. Hmm. I'm also hearing procrastinating. I always get that with the hanged man with Pisces. That's usually Pisces that are living in fantasy land, okay, that are not doing what they need to do to set things forward. And I had to um hit my incense. The little ash was like hanging. That's weird. That's that's a message. Somebody here, you're hanging on to someone. Mm, this could be a relationship, pile one. Now, keep in mind, these are general readings, y'all. This is not a personal reading. I don't care how much they resonate, okay? A lot of people got their energy here. Um, Somebody is hanging on to a relationship that's over with. It's dead. Punto final. It's over with. And somebody's crying here over spilled milk. Five of Cups is always regrets, remorses. I'm thinking this is you because I'm asking about your energy. But keep in mind, sometimes we can take on other people's energy. And somebody here definitely is a Taurus because I just heard Taurus. Yeah, pile one. Um, you need to change the sadness, the grief. Some of you I'm hearing, okay? You are not where you need to be, okay, with finances. You possibly, um, I don't know who this is for. You probably got kicked out of a house or a home situation. And you know you need to rebuild. 
I just heard that because I'm looking at this castle here, y'all. Let me see if I can show y'all this castle. There's a castle here. Somebody, you need to rebuild. You have no foundation is what I heard. Okay, what do you need to do to accomplish your goals? What do you need to do? I just heard to get back on track. What do you need to do? Pile one. Okay, right here. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this is definitely about a relationship. I'm definitely feeling somebody either got kicked out of a home or you paid your debt to a karmic cycle. Could have been a past life thing. Some of y'all don't know about past lives. Justice. Yeah, there was justice here. What I say? Karma. I just said that. Some of y'all are not. You've got to do research about your past lives. That's what I'm hearing. Especially if you're an earlier sign. If you're like uh, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Anything leading up until Virgo. Mm, the first six signs. Thank you, Spirit. Some of y'all, <laughs> why am I hearing this? Some of y'all may need to move in with somebody and act like you're married. You know, some of y'all don't know this, but I, I work, you know, and what I do for work, uh, sometimes, you know, these men, these grown men be like, oh, don't, you know, don't do something. Don't, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. And I'm like, okay, well, you got a week. And all of a sudden, the same guy will come in with a, a wife, a girl, and be like, oh, that's my girl, right? Whereas he was he was single before. And then the girl will pay for it. I'm like, okay. He'll be like, you see, I told you, I told you I'll be back in a week. And then he's driving the girl's car, and he's got her paying his shit. Ugly as fuck. The girl's ugly as fuck, but he doesn't care. He he got booed up real quick. For somebody here, somebody's a hobo sexual Somebody here sleeps with people so that they have a place to say, stay. Damn. Some of y'all need to get up on your money. You ended a karmic cycle with somebody. Thank you, spirit. Karma is balanced now. Karma is balanced. Don't have regrets or remorses. Remorses? Is that a word? No, that's not a word. Or remorse. Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is about a foundation of a healthy home life. Some of y'all, y'all had that and you let it go. You fumbled the bag. You fumbled the ball. Where where my football people at? Y'all watch football? I do. I'm wearing my Bears. I'm wearing my Bears uh, hoodie. <sighs> yeah. Somebody fumbled somebody here. Give me one. What else do they need to do to be successful? Yeah, I got the Three of Swords. I'm not picking it, though. Three of Swords was right there. Give me one spirit. Somebody, there's heartbreak here. Ace of Cups. Definitely about love. What I say, you got to make it right with somebody. Somebody here. Damn. Am I giving this message, spirit? Okay, I guess I'm giving it. Ace of Cups. This is what you got to do to make things right. Somebody here... Um. I don't want to get into this. Somebody here, you need to do what's right when it comes to love. Somebody might have did you wrong. You might have did someone wrong. I don't know where this energy is. Place it where it may. But Ace of Cups, there might be a brand new opportunity in love. What was I just saying about the guy who came to my job with, with this new chick? Talking about, oh, she's my wife and now, she, now she's paying everything. Whereas last week, he didn't have nobody. Somebody here... Damn. Somebody here uses people. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. They say, say it. Somebody here uses people. I don't know if that's you, the watcher, or this is somebody around you, but be careful about getting used, pile one, and be careful about using others because karma now, justice may not be on your side. If the first card I came up with was a five of cups, that's about regret, remorse, crying over spilled milk. That's This is your energy check. Damn. Somebody fucked somebody over here big time. And the universe is going to make it right. Mm, nope as well. Y'all got to be careful with that karma. Karma is a bitch. 
And I know people who have um, overwent 10 bad years of bad karma, boy. Whew, you be like, man, when is it going to end? When is my bad luck going to fucking end, bitch? Give me one more. What is the future for this person? Ten of wands. See? Ten of wands. Burdens. Burdens. You're at the end of a difficult cycle. You're at the end of it. Somebody here, you got burdens. It could be burdens with money. I'm hearing burdens with money. It could be also in love. Some of y'all are not healing. Y'all y'all having relationship after relationship and you aren't healing. You're not learning your lesson. Damn. Spirit just said they aren't learning the lesson. So we have everybody here. We definitely have Pisces energy, fixed energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Justice is Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sag. So we got a little bit of everything here. All right, I got three different messages. Archangel Michael, give me the correct message for pile one. Okay, right here. Pile one, what do you need to set your goals straight? Leave that dead-end job income alone. So some of y'all, you need to go back to school or you need to be an entrepreneur. Leave that dead-end job and that income alone. Some of y'all are entrepreneurs. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates in the comments below. Let me know if I accurately picked up either your energy or somebody else's. Don't get triggered. I don't want to hear shit in my comments. You will get deleted. I ain't even going to answer back. You just get deleted. That's it. Period, point blank. All right, pile two, pile two. Oof, let's get that energy from pile one. Archangel Michael. Clear out the energy from pile one, please. Whew. Pile two. Energy check. Goals. Where are you at for the end of the year? 2023. Moving into 2024, of course. This is timeless, guys. So I don't care if you see this video in 2027. This is when you needed to click on this video, okay? Give me three. Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron is also here. Give me three, please. Give me new energy for pile two. Give me their energy. We got seven of pentacles. We got six of swords. And we got six of cups. Ooh, we pile two. Um, 766 six or 666 six, six, seven, seven, seven. Definitely are your angel numbers. Seven of pentacles. First thing I heard is y'all are stacking up. Y'all are stacking up on your money. Some of y'all got out of Dodge. Y'all left a tumultuous situation. Could have to deal with a past life soulmate. Six of Cups. Doesn't have to be. Could also deal with a job, a work environment. Because we had Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn come up for it first. Which is Earth Energy. Some of y'all are trying to manifest your career job, your career home. Like, everything that's happy for you is what I'm hearing here. I'm seeing these flowers here. Flowers here are also about happiness. So, I'll be honest. Pile 2, the energy is way different from Pile 1. Way different. I feel way more positive with this. Some of y'all are definitely stacking your bread. I heard stacking your paper. What am I hearing? Cash on? Cash it? Cash out? Some of y'all, what's that song? That shit came out like 11 years ago, Cash Out. Some of y'all need to go hear that song. That was like a big song like 11 years ago. Some of y'all are definitely working on your money. So this is your current energy for right now. Let's see what you need to do to move on, move forward victoriously for the next year or just in general. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. This is not personal, guys. Other people put their energy in these piles. We got Princess of Swords. Yeah, some of y'all are definitely cutting shit off. Some of y'all are cutting people out, too. Some of y'all are giving, getting rid of toxic habits, I just heard. Some of y'all are definitely hitting the gym, working out. Toxic habits. Some of y'all definitely want to invest. Somebody here is an investor, I just heard. Some of y'all ain't even looking at what other people are doing. You're focused on yourself. You're like, this is about me and mine. 
Mm, I'm hearing, but as for me and my house, we shall fear, fear the Lord. Somebody here is deeply religious. Give me one more. Archangel Michael. Seven of Cups. Yes. What I say about seven, seven, sevens? Man. Seven is a holy number. Um, Seven of Cups. You have options. You need to explore your options when it comes to relationships, when it comes to finances, when it comes to whatever, working out, maybe do different things to work out, to stay motivated is also what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but I am. Seven of Cups. Don't look at the illusions as well is also what I'm hearing because that's Pisces card. A lot of people get stuck in their illusions. Heavy Neptune. You could probably see... Mm, okay. Somebody here has heavy Pisces in their chart as well. Bottom of the deck, they're telling me. Five of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're fucking up the competition. You're like... I don't even see you, fool. <laughs> I'm hearing Drake. Back to back. Back to back. <laughs> What's he say? Michael Jordan. 96, 97. Shit. Somebody's here on their A game. Michael Jordan. 96, 97. William Wesley. What? I'm going back to back. Back to back. Somebody here, you're definitely clearing out the competition. This could be online. Somebody, you got to watch for somebody stalking you. Somebody's like trying to get in your energy hard, pile two. Give me one more. What do they need to do to make their goals? Create their goals, spirit, okay? Eight of cups, move on. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody definitely is getting the fuck up out of Dodge. Six of swords is here. Eight of cups now is here. Somebody left something that was toxic. Could be a mindset. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. They just said it's a mindset. Somebody here, you're like, I got to accomplish my goals. I got to get up every day and go work out. You know, I'll share this with you guys. So I've been going to work out every day, right? I've been getting up at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning going to work out. I've been working out since July, okay? It's now November. The first person has told me, my ex actually, was like last week, he was like, oh, you're losing weight. You can see it. You can see it all in your face. It's taken three months, y'all. For somebody to tell me that they can actually see my workout progress. But don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. And other people at work have even told me too. Like, yeah, I can see your waist is getting smaller. Everything. So keep going. Somebody is definitely leaving somebody or something behind here. In 2024, 25, whenever the fuck you've watched this. <laughs> Give me one, Archangel Michael, left or right? I'm hearing a right. All right, what do you need to do still to accomplish your goals? Work out. What I say? What I say about going to work out? Go to the gym, work out at home even if you need to. If you don't like working out at home, I mean, excuse me, if you don't like working out at the gym, work out at home, guys. I sometimes, if I like miss the morning workout, I have stuff to do, whatever, I work out at home. I do like... I like Mike Peel on YouTube, um, Kicking Weight with Keisha. There's a lot of good YouTubers, y'all, that do, like, hip-hop, whatever, workout. You can work out at home. Do, like, 10-minute arms, get you some dumbbells. I don't know. Somebody is definitely leaving, though, a toxic mindset here. So comment down below. Let me know if this resonates with you. Somebody, oh, okay. They're saying, look at his muscles. I forgot. I forgot to say that earlier. Look at his muscles. Somebody's definitely working out. All right. Com comment, like, share, subscribe to my channel, y'all. Okay, pile three. Pile three. Quick energy check-in. Your goals. 2023, 2024. Are you hitting your goals? What do you still need to do to make your goals? Okay. Quick energy check-in. Where are you at right now? Archangel Michael. Let's clear up the energy from pile two, just in case. Pile two. Ooh, I'm feeling like real somber, like, like somebody just took a nice deep breath. Pile three, pile three, where are you at right now? Energy check-in first. Then we'll see what you need to do to accomplish your goals. Somebody here, you might need a, like a journal or a book to write stuff down. I'm also looking at my calendar. 
somebody here, you need to write stuff down on a calendar or you're a Virgo. You're very meticulous. I'm getting Virgo energy. Give me three spirit. Also Scorpio energy here. Where are they currently at spirit? We got the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We got seven of cups, Pisces energy. Bottom of the deck, three of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Ooh, okay, so where you're currently at, pile three, is somebody just got out of a relationship. It could have been a commitment. Somebody here was exploring their options. Could be you, could be someone else. I don't know. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is weird. So I just put on this hoodie and my sock fell out of the top because I just washed it. And sometimes y'all y'all know when you're washing clothes. Somebody, you need to wash that person's clothes or something that somebody was sleeping on. I don't know. I'm getting a weird message there, but okay. Um, somebody was definitely dealing with a Taurus. Now, what I say about the calendar, writing things down every day. The Hierophant is about organizational structure, right? Going to work every day, going to school every day. Some of y'all need to go back to school. Some of y'all feel like there's snakes at your job. Or snakes in relationships is also what I'm hearing. This is where you're currently at. Some of y'all are very traditional, religious even. Some of y'all are high priests, high priestess. Okay, that's what the Hierophant is. The Hierophant is like a pope, right? Let's say Catholic. Um, they are the officiator in magic. So that's who you are. This is your current energy. You could also be a teacher. You have the keys to the hidden secrets is also what I'm hearing. Because Seven of Cups is... Pisces energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Hierophants, Taurus. This is your current energy. What do you need to move forward victoriously for your goal, spirit? What do they need? Give me three. Tell me when you want me to stop. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled. You need to pour into your own cups is what I'm hearing. Be happy on your own, y'all. You know, be happy with your life look if you're not happy with your life nobody coming into your life is going to be happy and if you're looking for a relationship be what you are looking for in that relationship let me give you an example you say okay i want to find dude i want somebody who works out every day somebody who's really family orientated a good mom good spouse whatever be that for yourself and then you'll attract it first wishes will be will get fulfilled um yeah some of y'all are happy though this motherfucker is grinning. Ooh wee. He's grinning from ear to ear. He got a smug grin too. Like, fuck you, haters. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm definitely hearing it. <laughs> What'd she say? Um, I'm hearing Nicki Minaj, moment for life. Shouts out to my haters. You couldn't phase me. Mm, somebody here is a sad. You listen to Nicki Minaj. What do they need? Six of cups, past life soulmate. Yeah, some of y'all are going to, what I say about a whole relationship, some of y'all are definitely calling into your awareness. Thank you, spirit. Uh, a traditional relationship, a past life soulmate. That's for somebody because you're coming out of heartbreak. You know, energy doesn't lie, guys. Energy does not lie. I was with a whole emperor. <laughs> I was with a whole emperor. And when you go from an emperor to a page of fucking swords, it's like, it ain't no competition. You're like, oh man, how the fuck I go from an emperor who's standing in their power, who's in control, who's boss dog, to a fucking page. So some of y'all need to pull your cards and see who you're manifesting. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Bottom of the deck, they're telling me. What do you need to do? Yeah, be clear. Be clear. Okay. Don't flip-flop. Don't go back and forth. Don't look at all the options. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Be clear on what you want. Like I said, if you want a clean man, you want somebody who cleans their car, whatever, write it down, okay? They got to have this, this, and that. They got to have, you know, whatever. A certain K, and this is Ten of Cups, so I know I'm on the right track talking about this. Um... You know, they got to have their shit established. They got to have, you know, whatever. Fuck, at least 70K in the bank, whatever. Um, 
you'll manifest that. You're a, a quick manifester, pile three, more than the other two piles. And you can manifest your happiness. You're working diligently on your happiness, pile three. And you are going to manifest the life that you want. Give me one more overall advice for pile three spirit. Major Arcana, you got the Hierophant. Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini again. Somebody here is definitely a Gemini. Give me one, Spirit. What's the advice for Pile 3? Quick energy check. Ace of Wands. Yeah, do whatever you're going to do. Do it passionately. Some of y'all, y'all need some sex. I'm just going to say it because I heard it. Y'all need some sex. <laughs> Be careful with that dick stick though, okay? All right. Pile 3. What do you need to accomplish your goals for the rest of the year? Or timeless whenever you see this. Okay, hit me up if you want a personal reading, beautifulplacetarot at gmail.com. Also, add me, hit that subscribe button. All right, pile three, we got save your money, stack up for a new car, house, or good credit. Yeah, something about a house, because I'm seeing it here. And this is about your stability, what you're doing day after day. Some of y'all need to put some money aside. All right, that has been your reading. A quick energy check, goals for the end of the year. Whenever you see this, what do you need to do to move forward? All right, take care, take care guys. I love you. Take care. Bye.